morning. My name is Daniel Pina and this is BMT News. We start with our first story about local authorities looking for a 26-year-old man with the height of 5'6 and a weight of around 126 pounds. He has black hair and brown eyes and is named Luis Enrique Gonzalez and they might need our help to find him. He is wanted for aggravated assault on, uh, against a public servant and he escaped while getting arrested and burglary of a habitation. He was last seen in the 1600 block of San Francisco Avenue. If we have more details, we will let you know as we follow the story. We are now going out of Laredo because the next story takes place in Houston, Texas. An elderly woman had died after a burglar stole her purse and then ran her over outside a McDonald's in Houston, Texas. Officials say the victim, who was described as a Hispanic woman in her 70s, was ran over by the suspect as he fled the scene. She was then taken to the hospital where she sadly later died. We will also update you as we follow the story. Pfizer and Biotech said Thursday, September 28, they are seeking U.S. Food and Drug Administration emergency use authorization from for their COVID-19 vaccine for children ages 5 to 11. If authorized, this would be the first COVID-19 vaccine for younger children. The Pfizer Biotech vaccine is approved for people aged 16 and older and has a EUA for people ages 12 to 15. Pfizer submits data on COVID-19 vaccine for kids ages 5 to 11 to FDA, not seeking EUA yet. Last month, Pfizer released details of a phase two third trial that showed its COVID-19 vaccine was safe and generated a robust antibody response in children ages 5 to 11. The trial included 2,268 2, participants ages 5 to 11 and used a two-dose regimen of the vaccine administered 21 days apart. Pfizer began submitting it, its data on the vaccine for younger children to the FDA late last month, but had not formally requested authorization until now. FDA officials had said that once vaccine data for younger children was submitted, the agency could authorize a vaccine for younger children in a matter of weeks, not months, but it would depend on the timing and quality of the data provided. Laredo is reporting another series of deaths due to COVID-19. As of Monday, September 27, Laredo has reported a total of 397 active cases through the weekend of October 1 to October 3rd. Laredo reported five new deaths with more people hospitalized because of COVID-19. Hospitals are running out of space for people's sake. There are only seven beds in total in hospitals, two ICU beds and, f and only five regular beds. Of the 600 active COVID-19 cases, 203 cases are below the age of 17, 138 cases are between the ages of 18 to 30, 154 cases are between the ages of 31 to 39, and 105 cases are above the age of 50. 58% of the cases were not vaccinated. Enough of the sad stories, and let's move on to the happier side of news. On September 29, a Maine fishing crew accidental catch of a 600-pound tuna became about 350 servings of food for a local soup kitchen. Ross Alex, captain of the Catherine Ann, said he and his crew were fishing for lobster bait off the coast of Belfast when their nets captured something unexpected. They said, we saw some fish kind of popping off the surface, so we're getting ready to set. And we made our set and kind of hauled our net back. The fish went gone. We were like, where did they go? We got our net like three quarters of the way back and there was a tuna. Um, Alex told Wabi TV. Alex said the vessel was not licensed to catch bluefin tuna, so they attempted to free the large fish, but determined it was too entangled in the nets to revive. We will be right back with more stories and the weather.
jet water. One sip is all you need. Thank you for staying with us. The weather for the afternoon is going to be a high 99 degrees. Wind southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Some clouds in the morning will give away two mainly sunny skies for the afternoon. And for the night is going to be a low 76 Fahrenheit. Main, mainly clear early and then a few clouds later on the night. And now for the three day forecast. In October 14, it will be a 93 degrees in the afternoon and 70 at night. October 15 and the 91 degrees in the afternoon and 71 degrees at night. I thought we'd be on the same page about this, and we're not. How do I know the way I'm going to respond to it? I want you to get the vaccine, because I want you to be safe. What if you end up in the hospital? That's what I'm scared of. If you was to die, man, that would literally kill me, man. I hug you. Yeah. <laughs> they made you feel LA, bro. I would probably do. I love you, too. On Sunday, October 3, Dallas Cowboys went against the Carolina Panthers and absolutely took over the whole game. The Cowboys quarterback, Dak Prescott, threw four touchdowns and Ezekiel Elliott ran for 143 yards and with that, the Cowboys won 36-28. to We have finally gotten teasers and trailers for the long-awaited season four of Stranger Things, which you can see on YouTube. It looks a bit different than the other seasons, but I'm, really, I'm still really excited on what's to come and the writer said it will come in 2022. Thanks for, stay, for being with us, and we will hope to see you next time here at BMT News.